Good morning, folks. We're going to hit some space weather impacts on the atmosphere, both particle forcing and electromagnetic effect. We'll also see a paper linking volcanoes, weather, and the solar wind. Let's go ahead and start with the last 24 hours on our star. We find more solar flares on the south, both from the departing sunspots and the ones incoming. None of them fired CMEs towards the Earth, but the incoming group will face our planet this coming week. That will be the primary watch, as the geomagnetic activity from yesterday is waning back a bit this morning. This view shows you how the flaring activity is concentrated in those two areas. One on the right is heading to the far side, one on the left will be facing Earth by Monday or Tuesday. Here's a look at the sunspots. That departing group has already crested the limb out of view, while the incoming group remains moderately sized but magnetically complex. More flares are likely. Folks, while the Atlantic does have some tropical development, it is largely out to sea and not expected to impact the U.S. coastline. Same story can't be said for the East Pacific, where that storm is now moving north in the Gulf of California between Baja and mainland Mexico. Hope the locals are ready for this one. Let's go next to the articles where we begin with the particle precipitation from space weather into the Earth's atmosphere. Once again, we find it is intimately tied to the interplanetary magnetic field, the heliospheric current sheet. This is relevant for solar forcing of the atmosphere, and a similar process occurs at the solar system scale with the magnetic field of the galactic current sheet. Nice little catastrophism easter egg there for veteran viewers. Up next, we're going to geomagnetic activity and neutral winds in the upper atmosphere, clearly showing how the joule heating from direct space weather impact affects the motion of the air, including completely neutral sections. We've seen similar papers on wind throughout the atmosphere. Lastly, on the article front today, we have a preprint I really hope gets published in the journals, linking not only weather, but volcanic eruptions to solar wind variation. We've seen several papers on the sun and volcanoes in the past, but usually hitting solar flares or geomagnetic storms. This one focuses on the solar wind dynamics. Folks, don't forget, Founders Weekend at Observer Ranch is next weekend. Tickets at the link below or go to ObserverRanch.com to book your spot at the campground. I will also be out at the ranch tomorrow. And folks, tomorrow is also the release of this month's e-magazine, Observer Review. It's the number one way to stay up to date every month with the most important science news and context in the bigger picture. Sign up at the link below. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.